Dear Heavenly Father, today we humbly come before you asking you to examine our hearts. To simply humble ourselves and pray is not enough. In this critical hour of human history, please reveal and expose any sin in our lives that is grieving your heart and hindering our ability to cooperate with you. Help us to rise with fresh consecration in this critical hour. Dear Lord Jesus, freshly cleanse your church around the world so we as your people can fully represent you to our nations and respond to you in prayer. With repentant hearts, our trust is in the gift of righteousness we have received by faith in your redemptive work. We have been justified by faith. Through your work on the cross, we have access to your presence. Therefore, we are crying out with confidence, knowing that the prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. Dear Heavenly Father, through the redemptive work of your Son, Jesus Christ, we confidently approach your throne with this prayer. Revive your church and save millions of precious people through a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Even the great characters in Scripture, like the prophet Elijah, were simply human. They also struggled with unbelief, fear, discouragement, anger and despair. Yet in the midst of their own crises, they found supernatural strength in you. Today we freshly choose the way of faith. We rise up in the strength of your might, committed to praying until we have seen victory over COVID-19 and the havoc it has wreaked on our cities and nations. Dear Heavenly Father, you promised to strengthen your people. Therefore, we cry out to you for supernatural strength, that through faith and patience, we might fully possess everything you have promised us. Israel was stricken by a crippling drought, then delivered from the very same drought three and a half years later through the prayers of Elijah. We know your rule is not limited to the weather. You are sovereign over everything. Therefore, dear Father, we are asking you to heal our lands from COVID-19 and drive this disease from the nations of the earth. And we pray all of this in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.